quilts and I'm here to do a haul I actually went to Tuesday morning and purchased some products and I had no intentions of buying anything but I left with a little bit so I thought that I would share it with you and then I'm going to also do a project I purchased this stampendous cling rubber stamp and it's called cling pop-up kitties and I just thought this was really pretty and I have a friend who really loves cats and her birthday is coming up this month So I thought that I would buy that and it was four dollars and forty nine cents next. I bought stampendous cutting dies for the pop-up kitties the stamp set has seven stamps The die set has eight dies because it allows you to cut this top portion out of a different paper if you like and then next I purchased design by Natalie callback of nataliestudio.com I had never heard of this company before but I have an aunt that loves elephants and it's in the paper so you have to bear with me so let me open it and what I thought was really interesting was that you can stamp this is an entire set and this the set is called clear elephant set and what it comes with is an elephant that has a print and then it also has a stencil that's included and then also another elephant that has a pattern so I'm holding this down so you can see the pattern but you can also flip it to the other side and stamp just a plain elephant so if I stamp this elephant I think it would line up so that I can place the bottom elephant inside if I wanted to have this a plain background with a different ink so I won't be trying that today the next up I bought Sizzix. Oh, and the elephant set was let's see. And so I got three pieces, but really four stamps for seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oops. Next I got Sizzix dies. They are the framelits with stamps and it was $6.99 and it has some greetings. I'm actually going to use the happy birthday out of here and maybe use the bubble. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, got that. And then the last item that I got is something for men cards. It's called all about him embossing folders. It's an Anna Griffin product. It has six five by seven embossing folders and six one by seven embossing folders. And here you can see all of the folders that are in this set. And I haven't opened this yet. So they're all in the bags and I've kind of showed you what it looks like on the box. I won't be using this today, but we'll do this in another video. That was again $14.99 just in case I miss telling you. <laughs> and then the last item that I actually purchased is the Sizzix Big Shot machine for cutting quick paper pieces. And it was actually only $49.99 so I was really surprised at the price of this so this is what I am going to be using today for my project so first things first is I have some Nina paper cardstock I think it's 110 weight 
I wanted something solid because I am going to be using my Copic markers that I have here. I've kind of pulled out some browns for my kitties. So I have a lot of browns here. I have a chartreuse I'm going to be using on the eyes. And then I have some pinks. So I am going to stamp this with my Misty and I'll be right back. I'm back and I have die cut the stamps that I'm going to use. I am actually going to be doing a bobblehead, so I don't need the cat body. So I decided to cut enough pieces to do two cards. Or if I mess one up, I have a second one already stamped. So next, I am just going to use my brown to tannish color culprit markers. I'm not sure. About these, I'm not an expert with coloring, but I thought I would give it a try. So we'll start with the darkest brown. And since I'm going to be die cutting these out, I am going to go ahead and color outside the lines. I think I want to see what this looks like. Yeah, I do like that. So I'm just going to go around the outsides kind of with the darker brown the outer edges here So I have done all of my coloring. Now I'm going to use the Big Shot to cut this out. And I'm going to use the magnetic platform to do that. So I'm going to cut my pieces apart so that they're not trying to pull against each other. I need my base plates. This is my cutting plate. Put my pieces on top.
Okay, so this one doesn't want to stay. I think it's because it's turned in the other direction. So I'm not going to force it. Get my no cut plate. And then roll it through. That's my basket there. And my two little paws. So here is one of my sets. And so I'll cut my second set. My camera is about to run out of battery. I'll change the battery out and I'll be right back. I'm back and I have done quite a bit of prepping while I was gone. I have picked my two card bases. One card base is a print and then the other one is a solid one, just plain white, that I'm just going to add cardstock on top of. I cut a couple of strips that I'm going to use to ground my basket and over here I did a strip as well but I also put a secondary strip to just highlight that a little bit more. I have all of my stamped and colored pieces and then I also have these two pieces here that I die cut. One thing that I did while I was off camera as well is I stamped happy birthday and Versamark ink. And that's this ink here. And so I used in gold embossing powder and then I stamped it out with this EK Success Punch. So I still have one more to do. So I try to center it as much as I can and make sure that it's straight. And then I can punch that out. So it actually punched that part out and another little small banner that I'm just going to put aside for another project. On this pink one over here, I also cut another one out of the metallic paper and I'm just going to cut that in half. I don't know if I'm going to do that over here yet or not. So that part's done. So now I have some wobblers. I don't know exactly what these are called but they make things wiggle on your page. So I also have a couple of those. So I'm just going to start putting things down onto my base. So I'll start with the pink one here since I need to put the background paper down. And I'm going to move some of my pieces out of the way just so I have more room to work. My stamping up runner is out but I'll see use it until it's gone and so now I'm just going to put this pink base on I actually cut it one eighth of an inch smaller so it would have just a small shadow around it and now I want to put my grounding piece down
it's cut the same width as my paper and it's about one inch wide so that's just to ground my basket piece so I need to put that on this other one as well on this one I cut about one and a half inch and then I cut a quarter inch strip and then I use this Tombow adhesive to glue it together and now it's about also an eighth of an inch smaller than my card on each side and next we want to put our color paper onto our baskets I think this one goes over there I got them mixed up <laughs> So I decided to make two cards. I'm going to give one to my friend and then I'm also going to give her the other card that she can give to someone who has a cat for their birthday. This one already had some adhesive on it. So next we're going to ground our baskets and I just need to get an approximate placement. So let me see what I have here. Okay. Because I also want to add happy birthday underneath. Okay. So again, we're just going to glue this down flat, the actual basket. And then I am going to Kind of stick my bow down underneath just a little bit. So there's my bow and now I'm going to add dimensional onto my feet my little paws <laughs> And now I will be covering up some of my bow. So now I have my paws down and now I want to add my head on top and let's see on the back they kind of have the head coming just a little bit past the basket so that's what I'm going to do I am going to put this part on the back of the cat's head So that it will actually move. <laughs> I 
I have no idea what this is called, but it's more, it's like an action wobbler. So I want to press this into the center and make sure that it doesn't show behind the cat's head. And now I can peel off the top layer. And I will do the same thing with the other one. So what happens is it kind of wobbles. It's pretty cool. And I need to do that to this one as well. So my last step is I need to add happy birthday. So maybe I'll add just a couple of dimensionals on this one and just plop it up on the top. Looks like a really good place for it. And then on this last one, I actually cut some pieces to go underneath. I am just going to offset it on the end and down a bit. I just want to add a little bit of color here. So I'm just going to add some adhesive onto the front here. And maybe I might want to put some Tombow adhesive on here as well. Since it's glitter paper. So now we're just going to add some dimensionals and put this onto our card front. And I need to figure out if I want it at the bottom. I think on this one I'm going to put it on the bottom of the basket. We're all done. I even stamped handmade by myself and so here are my two cards I made using the stupendous pop-up kitty die and I do have a, the pop-up die but I did not make these pop up. I just needed to get this done really quick and like I said I'm going to give her this card and then she can gift this one to somebody else if she like or she can keep them both up to her but i hope you enjoyed this paper crafting video and i will see you next time bye bye